Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second episode of uh, the We Like Dota casual match and commentary. I'm Brian Sabone Yinger, and joining me this evening is Jared Clyde Frog Peterson. How you doing, Jared? Going great, Sabone. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you listened in the podcast, we kind of wanted to do a bit of a minus armor strategy that uh, was your brainchild. Yeah, I just kind of was thinking of some cheesy cheesy teams right and uh minus armor is one that seemed pretty obvious yeah so uh dreaming it up we had a slardar uh elder titan dazzle and then shadow fiend as well but unfortunately um when we were playing this game we only could get three people right so uh our fourth happened to just random dazzle so we thought it was manifest destiny we had to go up for it (laughs) manifest destiny that's right (laughs) so uh we ended up uh i ended up playing the uh the alchemist which uh i'm gonna be playing top and uh, you're down in the bottom lane. Yep. Uh, playing Slardar, a hard farming Slardar. Yep. And uh, Dazzle's going to be supporting you. Which I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody here. But I did not carry well as Slardar. He's he's a all. he's a difficult he's a difficult hero. Yeah. And he doesn't really get very. Uh, he doesn't do a ton of damage. He just gets really tanky. He initiates great. Initiates really well. So, uh, Dire Side, it uh, looks like we have a Storm Spirit and... A Skywrath Mage. Yeah, up top lane, in their top lane. Uh, we kind of have an Axe Roaming, who also played the bottom lane. And then we had a Vengeful Spirit, um, who is making her way to mid, and a Lion, who also played the bottom lane for Dire. Yeah, <coughs> check out the top lane here. We tried to ask, uh, show mascot and best friend of you, uh... Gilmore the Corgi mm-hmm. to stand Absolutely. in as our fifth, but um, unfortunately he w- he's a dog. He was he's a dog. Yeah, and he was really terrified. Yeah, he's scared of everything as he's yeah. a corgi. So yeah. not really sure what Axe is doing here. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've yeah, ever seen. Just decides to tank a bunch of creeps, I guess. I I think uh, my only thought here is, hey, I'm gonna get a lot of experience for last hits. I'm gonna get some gold, some harassment, yeah, some right click harassment from so Dazzle. Dazzle. Paying attention. Maybe Axe forgot that this wasn't Wraith Knight anymore. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's exactly it. Yeah. So uh, you're one on oneing a lane here with Lion. The with Lion, little, yeah. Dazzle and Axe just. I'm trying to not take some creep the, hits here. Yeah. Dance in the uh, jungle here. Axe making his way somewhere. So yeah, in mid we have Disruptor and Venge, which from we have a friend Tom who advocates mid Disruptor like crazy. He really likes it. Yeah, apparently. and um, again, no spoiler alert here, but I understand why uh, Disruptor. If you play him well, whew, pretty good. Yeah, pretty impressive. Uh, Axe still playing Wraith Knight <laughs> in the bottom lane. <laughs> What the heck is going on here? I don't know. He's just waiting in between the towers for that. Dazzle going for the uh, creep stack or creep pool or creep Something. creep hits here. And then, uh, well, I, you might want to stay down there. Cause going in like... for the kill and <laughs> down. See ya, uh, Axe. As it turns out, you don't necessarily want to take that much creep damage. <laughs> yeah. I, I really don't understand what he was doing there. Yeah. Um, my only thought is they're trying to pull that lane closer to... Uh, the tower down there? Yeah. But that is not the way you do that. No. No. That is such a bad decision. Alchemist putting the uh, acid spray down. Now, of note is Axe had enough money to buy a TP and TP back down here so that he wouldn't miss all the uh, experience. All the XP and gold, yeah. yeah. But, uh, and he ended up going and buying, was it a stout shield? <laughs> Something that, like that, no? yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, right. We also have a bit of a misplay because we don't have any wards up on the runes. Yeah. So our mid player, who he doesn't even have a bottle though, um, he's going to be missing out on on the runes, which it's really good if you can get rune control as a mid player. Yeah, that is. Earth spike. Oh, yeah. From lion there, going for some harassment, and I believe, if I remember correctly, I almost die here. Well, then you might want to. Yeah, some counter helix there, and the hex uh, being used on. And it looks like. And I almost died. Earth spike. That nice stun and some decent damage there. Oh, we got Shiloh this. Grave totally saved my ass here. No kidding. And I used the tango, <laughs> um, you know, so I would live. Yeah, the not dying part. The not dying, yeah. Absolutely. So Dazzle is still just kind of going YOLO and still trying to uh, to really get some good harassment in. Yeah, that, that Dazzle's playing well. I checked the profile of the Dazzle. He, uh, he only has about f- 50 matches in, and he played really well. And Axe goes down again. 
Yeah. The YOLO feeding from Axe, and we almost get another lion kill here. Oh, it looks like he got a good hex off, but you had that nice sprint. Yep. Oh, and, and do, do I go in crush? for the slithering crush? Come no, on. I don't have enough mana. Uh, One hit, oh, and there he there's goes. There's the right clicks. There it is. There's the right clicks. Top lane going well. Let's get the uh, let's get the CS up here. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, CS stands for creep score. That's your last hits and denies. And it looks like I'm kind of abandoning the top lane to kind of roam. As uh, when you're playing that support Alk, he uh, has a tendency to be pretty dang strong early game. Yeah. So he can, as soon as you get those boots, kind of roam pretty well. Yeah. No so surprise here. Our mid lane is winning the uh, the creep farming. Oh, and that stun going out from Alchemist, and looks like Venge will fall here. Yeah. Right click doing a lot of work, and there we go. Disruptor getting the kill. So that roaming Alchemist, I gotta love him. Pretty good, pretty good. Absolutely. Magic Wand coming out for Slardar. Um, Axe still sitting on boots, Stout Shield, and Ring of Protection. Die as mid -tower gotta get that armor. That armor. So it looks like uh, Elder Titan, Alchemist, me and a... Uh, me and Yadneb. We got Neb. Are uh, rotating here. He's going to do a little bit of roaming as well. Well, so big an experience up top for me. He's got that briefcase that he's carrying. Ready to go to work. Ready to bash <laughs> some faces in. He's a disgruntled worker. He was upset with uh, the previous episode of Breaking Bad, and he's ready to let you know about it by Absolutely. the water cooler. Absolutely. What is that? Shadow Wave from... Uh, Shadow Wave. Shadow yes. Wave from Dazzle. Uh, which is dam which damages and heals. Right. Oh, so great. So great. But it also pushes your lane, so you gotta be ready for that too. That is true. Elder Titan using the using the ancestral spirit. Astral spirit, excuse me. Yeah. It astral does damage and then also you can so. use the astral spirit to uh to stun. And uh pretty active in the bottom lane here. It really is. Well, the the axe is very, very aggressive. Yeah. Which you got to be careful when you're... To his detriment. And I would say the Tranquil Boots for Axe is a bit of a misstep here. I would agree. Uh, tranquil Boots, you're really only going to want to build on uh, supports that aren't going to be attacking too much. Right. Um, your Crystal Maidens, your IOs specifically. Right. Your Wisps. Wisps. Exactly. Uh, there's a bottle on Elder Titan, which I think is a bit of a, bit of a misplay, um, because he wasn't really playing mid and... I don't know. Maybe if he's roaming a bit more now, it makes a little bit more sense. Because when you pick up the runes, your bottle refills, and it has some nice regen. Um, I think Venge sees Elder Titan, maybe, and is going in for a kill here. Yeah, let's see what like happens it. here. Let's watch. Let's let's watch. <laughs> uh oh. So Bye. Yadneb Yadneb sees the Venge. Uh, we decide and to engage. chase her out. Yeah. Engage a little here. And I believe we miscommunicated and thought we were going to go after Venge, but then broke off. And uh, Venge decides to run back around the tower to the bottom lane here. Switch, uh, oh. switch going down, real nice switch. Oh. Dazzle will fall, and I get hex, and then I'm definitely going to go down here. It's three on one. I just decide to YOLO sprint out of there. That's that's what that sprint's for, man. And I survive. Um, but yeah, real nice rotation from Venge um, going down there for the uh, for the kill. On the Elder Titan, the Slardar, and the Dazzle, but really only Dazzle fell, so... Yeah, E.T. is actually picking up that uh, double damage rune, so he bottled um, that up. With the three of them down here in the bottom lane, I think it would be better if the top lane rotated mid and just took took this tower. Yeah, I think that would have been wise, yeah. but I think at this point we're going to... Elder Titan going in for a gank here. Yeah. We're going to come Stun in. Stun going down, and the Disruptor static field... Huge play. Just death all around us. Uh, Disruptor just getting the kills. And Elder Titan actually got the kill on the Storm Spirit. And we have action going down in the bottom lane here. So, yeah. Glyph we're going up. We'll split. Get him out of here. So that was a really good play. They said, okay, we're going to push the bottom lane with Venge, Axe, oh, and oh. Lion. And we just decided to rotate top and... Uh, and just really push out that lane and just uh, punish them for, for rotating oh, poor bottom. Dazzle. Poor so it Dazzle. looks like Dazzle's going to die, but he's being a good support and uh, ensuring oh. that Slardar survives. Shallow Grave, Shallow allowing grave. him to live. Oh, and, the and he survives. Get the heals. Get the heals. Amplified damage going out on Axe. And it looks like the bottom lane will survive. Yeah, they're not even going to get that tower, unfortunately. Top lane being pushed out. 
you go for the ultimate on Alchemist here for the for the regen, correct? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to get that regen. It's great. Yeah. So really, I mean, once you hit that level six ultimate with him, you don't have to buy any regen anymore. So it's really nice. Yeah. Storm Spirit and Skyrath doing some uh, some work there, some harassment to get us out of there. In the bottom lane, heating up again. The Astral Spirit scouting him out. Going for the stomp, but isn't really going to do much of anything. Dazzle does have the Arcane Boots up. The uh, the Yolo bottle on Elder Titan not really doing anything. <laughs> yeah, he looks a little poor. Slardar is close to uh, Power Treads, which is a real nice item. Uh, you can get that HP. Get the HP, yep. Add the mana pool, have lots of flexibility. Then's oh. rotating again. She's got the... Uh, Invis Rune. Invis Rune. And she... Uh, I think I think Venge from this round. We watched the match a little bit earlier. I would say Venge was the MVP of the match, if you ask me. She played really well. Yeah, some action happening happening in the top lane that I missed. Looks like Skyrath got a kill on the Alchemist, and Disruptor killed the Storm Spirit. That's a trade. In you the want bottom from lane, the... Slardar just gets destroyed oh, with oh, yeah. with a combo from the three of them. Hex going out on uh, Dazzle there. He, Elder Titan comes up, says not going to happen, kills the lion. Dazzle does go down. And it and looks, like looks like Elder Titan, Titan will fall. Will fall as well. So that was a two for two for three. Was that right? One for three? One for three. One for three. That's not a good exchange. No, that's not something you want. No, that's for sure. Dazzle teleporting back into the bottom lane. Top lane still holding off. Yeah, it looks like we've both teams have abandoned the mid lane, which yes. is not something you see too often. Right, because there's a lot of farm that can be happening down here. Yeah, and uh, it looks like we just continue to push out the top or the outside lanes, leaving the uh, the mid lanes. Yep. To just kind of hang out. It's weird. We rotate rotate top here and decide uh, if there's going to be so much aggression in the bottom lane, we might as well try and push out the top lane. Vanguard going out on uh, Axe. Pretty well timed. Arcane boots for Lion. For how many deaths he had. Pretty yep. well timed. Ring of Aquilia for Vengeful Spirit, which is a good pickup for her because she is an agility hero. And it kind of combines the Wraith Band and the Ring of Basilius into one item. Yeah. Make your inventory a little bit more efficient. Get those Dying item slots. Tower. Yep. You know the drill. So it looks, looks like, like we're going to have an engagement happen in here. Storm Spirit kind of zaps in here. And static disruptor field going down. Static field. We throw and in the acid storm spirit spray. just melting mm. there from the disruptor, and that acid spray man. Yep, chasing out the skywrath mage here with the uh, stun. Oh no! Yeah, and you've got blood written all over your face here, going in for the kill. And we decide to uh, and, back up here yeah. and get for, get the tower. Surprising. Yeah. Surprising. Normally, I'm way too much of an aggressive player. Yep. So both safe lane towers, tier one towers for both teams are down. So we decided to keep pushing out here. It does look like there's going to be another engagement. And that static field doing work. Slardar does go down. You escape here. You got the unstable concoction, though. This might kill you if it blows up in your face. It does. <laughs> Ends up getting the deny. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which it's nice if you can deny yourself, I guess. Right. I, uh, yeah. It's no. better to be alive, but hey, at least you denied yourself. It does look like there's a... Dire side kind of... Looking like they're going to push that rat around the top lane, top lane here. Yeah. Elder Titan decides to get out of there. Kind of figure out, figures out what's going on. We got an engagement in the river here. Storm Spirit just decides to run off. Okay. okay very good. Dazzle lives to see another day. The Storm Spirit was level six, so he probably wouldn't have won that, won that match there. Arcane Boots uh, being bought for Elder Titan. Yeah, it's looking it's looking like a pretty decent pretty decent um, game, pretty even. It's, disruptor pulling ahead on the net worth. Yeah, that disruptor is really going to be the uh, the key. Disruptor is ahead five zero, <laughs> so he, he's doing pretty good. And dazzle number two on our net worth chart as well for the uh, radiant. So that's not speaking too highly of a. <laughs> we decided that, that hard farming yeah. slardar being the. Uh, Bottom of the right. radiant net worth. Not not exactly what you're looking not for. Not that I'm carrying well or anything. No, no, no. Uh, Disruptor did get a kill on Storm Spirit when he was caught out a couple seconds ago. So it looks like the mid tower is going to go down here. The ulti coming out for Skywrath. Whew, doing work there. And but, the Dire decides to push the... Uh, yeah, they're not really pushing that lane at all. 
No. So the mid tower go, uh, is going to go down. Uh, that's two tier one towers down for and the dire side. another missed concoction. Radiant oh, bottom tower looks like Axe is going to go decide invisible. to... Looks like Skywrath oh, is going to engage for them. To do. And uh, Great Dazzle ulti. Good stun coming out from Slardar. Looks and like Axe will go down from the right clicks from Dis Disruptor. The static field just doing work. It really is. I don't know. I might say the Disruptor static field is the... Uh, Kinetic field. Kinetic field, excuse me. There's static storm and kinetic field. Yeah, my gosh. Venge does go down from Slardar. Hey, I got to get those kills, you know? Absolutely. And there you are. You're chasing out the lion. The net worth there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Road to TI4, I'm telling you. We're going real deep here for the lion, and we do decide to back off. A wise decision, wise decision. I pick up the double damage on Slardar and do nothing with it, which is typical. And Urn coming out for uh, for Dazzle, which is a real good pickup. Shadow Wave doing work, man. I tell you, we want to keep an eye on, as we get further in, um, how far down some of these uh, dire uh, heroes' armor gets when we have team fights, because the there's a chance that it can be pretty low. Yeah. Doing work on the s s uh, Storm Spirit there. He zaps in and just gets himself killed every single time. Elder Titan doing the stomp there and getting a nice uh, initiation. <coughs> yeah, take a look at the Venge right now. Oh, oh never mind. She's dead. <laughs> right click's going out, really doing a lot of good work. Dazzle's really actually having a decent amount of right click there. Absolutely. And that was a full team wipe. Only losing the Alchemist. And it's not it's not looking good for the Dire side. No. Anytime you have those team wipes, it's really... It's very depressing. Yeah, it's uh, it can be challenging to come back from for sure, because right. you have everyone on the other team getting getting all that gold. Storm Spirit zapping in to surely get himself killed. Kinetic Field going down again, and not everyone just sure right what clicks. He was thinking there. Yeah, that was not a good idea. You don't want to suicide yourself in. That was not a good decision. <laughs> if you're playing a game of Dota, and you say, "Hey, should I suicide myself in?" Um, usually the answer is no. No. Just remind yourself, do I want to suicide in? No. What did I just ask myself? <laughs> so you get the power treads and the uh, ring of health on the alchemist here. Looking like the vanguard coming out. Mechanism coming out on, uh, what's his beat? Oh. Disruptor. And uh, with all the minus armor we have, we decide, hey, let's go hey, do let's, Roshan. Hey, let's go do Roshan. That's a great idea. Yeah. Which my ultimate, he's got like a Lincoln's that pops. Um, and this is really just a horrible time to do Roshan. For sure. Yeah. Um, for so sure. it was a bad call for us. Usually you want to wait and do it, and really we just we just get killed because of it. Uh, we just engage with Roshan, greedy. and we just have just a real bad initiation. Uh, Storm Spirit might actually get a kill here. Definitely is. Kill on the Slardar. And Elder Titan will fall, and it looks like Alchemist will fall. Dazzle's still alive. Um, Dazzle should really just be making his way yeah, out of dodge point, here. At this point. And just decides to feed. I think he could have made it out alive, but yeah. um, really the fight here for Roshan was just a poor decision uh, clear across the board because we thought we could make him melt pretty quickly, but I did not anticipate the spell block, which it it's basically a Lincoln Sphere that just pops every 15 seconds, and we lose a Tier 1 mid-tower because of it. Um, so that was really a pretty bad idea, pretty bad engagement out of us. Um, and as I said earlier, you just want to wait until the other team is down a couple people and they really don't feel safe. You know, they have to stay back, you know, farm in the jungle or farm in other lanes. And you can just really uh, get Roshan easily with the other team down. That Storm Spear took about half of his health in the, uh, from tower hits. That's uh, another thing you definitely do not want to be doing. Right. Those tower hits really... Unless you're tanky like Alchemist, you know, you pop the ultimate and you say, okay, I'm going to yeah, take the tower hits. HP regen. Yeah, we can I take, can it take down. tower hits. Yeah. <laughs> but... You know, it happens. It happens. It does. It definitely does. So it looks like we have a, a little bit of vision um, in the map. And, uh... Yeah, it looks like really we get a ton of vision from the Elder Titan using the Astral Spirit. It is just so useful to to use that to um, to just scout ahead and really just get the uh, get the lowdown on what the opponent's doing. Looks like the Dire will decide to keep uh, keep farming up here. Yeah. Axe is in the jungle. 
at this point, I think that they were thinking that they were a little behind for team fights, um, that they right. were got lucky in that engagement to uh, catch us out and being yeah. greedy, which I would agree. Um, but they definitely needed some some help. Right. Dire buildings are tough as nails. So it looks like uh, looks like Storm Spirit kind of suiciding himself in. We talked about Yet this again. earlier. Getting caught in this kinetic field. And just right clicks going down in the stun and Alchemist there getting it is. the kill. So it looks like, yeah, the bottom tower for the Dyer is going to go down. Yep, we definitely felt comfortable enough with our farm that uh, we could just really start pushing towers and really just uh, kind of wrapping up this game. Shadow Wave going down, really healing everybody up. And on top of the mech and the arcane boots, you can you really just have a ton of sustain mm -hmm. um, with, with all those heals going out. Yeah, Dazzle is is good, man. He and I, is, I I feel like we should have backed up here. Yeah, at this point, I would have definitely fighting under towers isn't necessarily wise. Unstable concoction getting charged up. We'll go down on Skywrath Mage and getting the kill there uh, with an assist from Elder Titan and Alchemist. Venge using the uh, Wave of Terror there, which is al also has a, a nice armor reduction as well, Jared. Yeah. Something to keep in mind. Axe falling down, the static field doing work there. Storm Spirit trying to blink out, but just will not get away, and he melts from the uh, right clicks from Elder Titan. Oh my goodness. Lion, Lion and Venge making their way out. <laughs> and the uh, Radiant side decides to just keep pushing here. Just keep pushing. At this point, press the advantage while you have three people down, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. It's like uh, it's like the old days in Street Fighter 2 when you could just kind of corner somebody <laughs> against the wall and just keep doing the jump kicks. Or if you were, remember Dalsim when he would like <laughs> lunge his hands yeah. forward and punch you? Yeah. 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 You just like slap him. Yeah. Slap There's him just that. nothing you can do about it and you Absolutely. just get pissed off and throw the controller. <laughs> I'm not playing this anymore. Yeah. I especially love the special moves in Street Fighter 2 where you could just mash the buttons and win. That was great. <laughs> I was really good at those games because I, I get Street hit Fighter. buttons really fast. Let me ask you this, Jared. Were you a Mortal Kombat or a Street Fighter kind of guy? Mortal Kombat. Really? Yeah. I was a Street Fighter guy. That's understandable. Yeah. Looks like the Dyer is going to go for an engagement here. I'm not necessarily sure they want to be getting in here. A good swap from, uh, from Venge there, but... Oh. The check, ultimate check from Axe armor. there check killing Elder Titan. If you can. Oh. Minus three. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, Elder or uh, Axe really taking quite a bit of HP here. He's getting the double kill. He's and losing. Disruptor's going to keep going in here. I don't know if he w wants to stay in here. He should yeah. probably be getting away. No, here. he's got that minus armor that amplifies damage. Where's he getting plus 22 armor from, though? Four staff in a way there. I think it was the mechs? I don't know. Is that from? Oh, the, you didn't know what it was? It was the uh, Dazzle Ultimate. Oh, the Shallow. No, is that Shallow Grave? No, it's the Dazzle Ultimate. It gives. Uh, it gives. Uh, armor. Um, buffs. Oh, armor per second. That's right. Yeah, armor oh, buffs. That's nice. So that really stacked up there. Yeah, yeah. That's why you picked the Dazzle, baby. That Dazzle Ultimate. It does so much work. Uh, Dazzle's underrated. I really, I really believe that. He does so much work. If you can, the biggest thing is he he's a level dependent uh, support, right? So you can't really count on him for a lot of a lot of damage. He yeah. just does a lot to make your team fight so much better. Yeah, but he really needs levels as well. So right. he has to be in a lane, soaking up experience to really be effective. Right. And as Slarder, I decided I, I felt behind at this point, so I wanted to keep uh, farming to get back up there. Because look at my net worth. This is just pitiful. I haven't played a lot of Slardar in the past, and I, I'm not sure if I'll play him in the future. <laughs> He's a challenging, a challenging um, hero for sure. If you can, if you can get good, uh, really, Slardar is there for initiation more than anything. Yeah, so it's I, easy to farm on him. I mean, his his attack animations are really easy. But it's, uh, I don't know. I just struggled with him. I didn't feel like his damage output was very high. Um, which it's not. I mean, he's right-clicking for 93. Right, yeah. And we continue as a team to to push in the middle lane here. Venges, yeah. Right Vlad's and Yasha coming out on uh, on uh, the Vengeful Spirit, going for a kind of a carry Venge. Which is... She's getting a lot of farm, so yeah. I mean, go for it. That's the beauty of Vengeful Spirit, is you can kind of do like a real nice semi-carry, or you can just play a real nice support as Venge. 
can do a lot of stuff. Yeah, Pretty she, versatile hero. She does have the magic missile, which is a great single target stun. She's got the, the wave of missile. terror, which is an armor reduction. And the nether swap, which is real nice, which you can use offensively. You can use it defensively to save somebody. So really just quite a bit of combinations with the vengeful spirit. But there's a lot that a lot that she can do for sure. Looks like we have a three man push in the middle lane. Well, a three man half push. Three man half push. And they back up. And it looks like the Radiant team's just hanging out up top. <laughs> Not doing a whole heck of a lot. Jared, correct me if I'm wrong here, but um I think we needed to have more wards up so we had more of an idea of where they were. Yeah, that was something that was definitely lacking. Yeah. As a uh, as I was playing support, um I felt like we were far enough ahead to where not necessarily overly needed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was definitely something that... Looks like a bit of an engagement's going to start here. And Skyrath using the... Uh, what's that spell that he has? The uh, the Arcane Bolt. The Arcane Bolt. That's so great. Axe getting in there with the Blink Dagger. Ulti going down from Skyrath. I'm real good at standing in those, by the way. <laughs> Disruptor will get the kill on the Vengeful Spirit. Uh, looks like Axe is going to fall here. Oh, big oh. double kill from the Elder Titan with the ultimate there. Just that doing work split. and cleaning oh. folks up. That has Woo. such a long... At, uh, what is that? Cast animation. Why am I having problems saying that? That's my okay. gosh. Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit just decides to uh, rage quit. The poor guy. Understandably, yeah. he was playing... He was throwing pretty much a hole. That that big ultimate out of the Elder Titan. Holy cow. It's so hard to land, but when you do, whoop, yeah. it is amazing. Yeah. Does so much damage, so much work. Tier 2 top lane uh, tower will fall for the Dire. And at this point, I remember feeling pretty comfortable. Understandably, yeah. yeah. Hood of Defiance for uh, Elder Titan there to really just kind of keep him uh, a little bit more safe with all the magic damage coming out from Skywrath, Mage, Lion, and Vengeful Spirit. Absolutely. There was a lot of magic damage on that team. Yeah. Um, a pipe would have been Skywrath, really Skywrath, oh. uh, ulti, going to take down <laughs> <Another> Slardar. <laughs> and, oh, Shallow Grave keeping me alive here. I get off a good stun. We'll probably let uh, Disruptor get the double kill. There it goes. Oh, yeah. That wasn't a bad play. Slardar is still alive. Initiation. I'll probably die here. There we go. Uh, Elder Titan getting another kill there. He is just doing work as Elder Titan. Taking that briefcase and just smashing people in the face. Skyrath saying GG, sensing that it's all over. Storm Spirit will zap away back into the well. I guess he, I guess he came back. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I, well, it could have been somebody else controlling him. Yeah, that's true. And, uh... Yeah, Radiant just knocking on the door here of the Dire. Elder Titan taking that briefcase and just smashing faces. I can practically see the blood <laughs> all over the briefcase. He is doing work. Yeah, taking you down get, those barracks. With the briefcase, he's doing work. And, uh, okay. yes, I get, yes. Okay, you got that one? I see what you did there. I just was making sure. Storm Spirit here suiciding himself in again. Yet again. Disruptor going for the kill, smelling the blood, but... I think if I was Disruptor, I'd just focus on getting the barracks down here. Uh oh. W winding up the concoction here. Well, you oh. get the stun. Yeah, on the Storm Spirit there. Or, uh. Skyrath. Skyrath Mage there. And that does a pr quite a bit of damage when it's all the way uh, wound up. It really does. Doing 360, 360 damage. Yeah. Oh, taking the tower. And a four uh, the, uh, second stun. Well hits from the, from the <laughs> fountain there. You always get a little greedy towards the end of the game. If oh, you have like to. This. You have to. Absolutely. Static field going down from uh, Disruptor. Or did we decide that's kinetic field? Static storm and kinetic field. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Static kinetic storm field. Dazzle uh, will fall here, and at the, it, we got a little greedy here. We should have backed up. Well, anytime you're playing um, a game and you're feeling very comfortable, you it's have easy a tendency to, to throw. Yeah. You really do. What's uh, I did get the kill as the Slardar, which is nice. What's Axe's uh, armor there? Axe, where's Axe? Where's Axe? He's the big. Uh, it's the big thing. Yeah. Minus five. Yeah. So he was down to zero armor, which is great because it basically reduces their effective hit points. Skyrath getting a real nice kill on the Disruptor there with the ultimate. And, uh... Line escaping with almost no hit points. And, so that uh, unfortunately, that wipe. was a full team wipe. Yeah. Which, you know, probably shouldn't have happened. Right. With um, a little bit of a... 
at this point i think we were so far ahead though that it just doesn't matter right which isn't necessarily a good attitude to have um it's definitely not and against a skilled team will get uh get you definitely screwed somehow our courier got sniped that's not fun oh i hate when that happens the mighty boar courier yeah it's nice where'd you get that uh i think it was a drop oh sweet yeah I've got as a courier. I have the. Um, mid tower could use a little help. I have the one from Ti3. That's an evolved version, so I had to kind of work for it. It's oh, a. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a mammoth that flies around. Dyer's mid it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little courier. Difficult. So it looks like taking out the mid tower now. That last remaining outer tier two. Yep. The good old acid spray coming down to kind of take that creep wave and knock it out. And Jared, we've talked about this before, but really, it's real important. I mean, it's it seems obvious, but taking down towers wins you the game. Oh, absolutely. Because when you can see here, when you take a tower down, each hero gets about 260 gold, which, you know, you take down, you know, a couple of tiers of towers, one or two tiers of tower. That's a lot of gold for your team. Absolutely. It's huge. And yeah. the vision that is lost yeah. from... Uh, from the other team that's i think bloodstone being thing. bought for disruptor here he just sure why not yeah you just practically won't die with bloodstone elder titan deciding to go <laughs> against roshan here uh Getting the one-on-one -on -one here i guess we decided to go for a roshan here it's definitely looking that way yeah hey do me a favor and let's see what yeah roshan's he's down to minus two <laughs> i think that's without the slardar ulti once the slardar ulti comes out he'll just melt yeah there yeah. it goes <laughs> minus 17 minus 17 armor <laughs> So yeah, it, at this point, it, he, he's actually getting amplified damage. Yep. So Roshan says, hey guys, you killed me. Uh, take the Aegis and go smash faces with it. And obviously nobody wants it. So. <laughs> right. That's always nice. Alchemist picking up the Aegis, um, which I guess I would have given it to Disruptor since there was kind of, I guess he did like a carry Disruptor. He would definitely um, probably should have taken it, but he wasn't even yeah. involved in the... Uh, the Roshan attempt, so... And this is also a bit of a gaff between you and I. We should have communicated a bit better. Skywrath going down. Um, we both decided to build an Assault Curus, which I was thinking about it more, and it's maybe not as big of a deal as I thought it was, because there is an aura, but with Assault Curus, there also is the component of... Just all the armor yeah. uh, you're getting and all the attack speed. Right, which, which isn't... You, there's some component of the Assault Curus that's not an aura. And the dire side just melting here, just right clicking. With all the minus armor that's coming out from this team, it's just. It's a little rough. Yeah. As you can see, Venge trying to get away and just completely unable. And then an unstable concoction just holds her in place yet again. And uh, you smell blood here going after Venge, and you're getting so tanky. You know, you just, you just can't die. And you also have the Aegis, which. Right, always makes you play a little, little more, um, a little more greedy. Absolutely. Alti going down from Skyrath, and look, it it barely even phased you. I mean, it only did like twenty five percent of your health. And at this point, which really, that's a really good ultimate for him. And he, he's even got the Ags. Aegis will get popped here, which Ags on Skyrath. The thing is, it's 800 gold or 800 mana to cast that ultimate, and yeah, it does a ton of work. But what is man, what does Ags do on Skywrath Mage? It, it takes his ultimate down to a zero cooldown. Yeah, so you can just spam it. Right, but you have to have such a huge mana pool. I mean, you you have to really be taking your yeah intelligence high and storm just zipping in and out. But the heck, why not? I feel like uh, we're at the point where we're just melting so much face here, where we can just talk about strategy. No, absolutely. Yeah. Storm Spirit freaking out. Understandably. <laughs> <laughs> Assault Curious being completed on the uh, Alchemist, but at this point it just doesn't matter. Going for the uh, Necro Book Level 2 on uh, Disruptor. Gotta get that intelligence. Gotta get it. And the throne is now exposed, so should Looks be going like the in here. To will get in there and take, the throne take care of that. Yep. Oh, and poor Sky Sky Poor Skywrath. All he wants to do is just cast his ultimate until he dies. Storm Spirit zapping in. Just just melts from even just the right clicks from uh, Alchemist and Disruptor. And 
Did you see the dire their ancient was at a minus five health as, or was armor it? As well. <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't, I just saw it. So, does the ancient have armor? <laughs> it must. Sweet. <laughs> So that strategy worked out well. Yeah, um, it was it was it was well executed. Luckily, um, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we our saving grace here was the disruptor. Oh, by far, we yeah. got lucky. Yeah. Um, but well, I don't know if I'd necessarily say that because we did set him up to get quite a few kills in the early game. Right. No, that um, is true. So you know, I don't want to downplay our play at all. Um, I feel I feel like we did okay. I personally did not enjoy the. I mean, I had fun playing the match, um, but I did not pl- like playing Slardar. No, he's he's a little ch- bit of a challenge. Yeah, so I think I think it would be nice to have Slardar as like a roaming semi carry, or even just right. the, even lane him with Alchemist and have Alchemist be the hard carry. Well, I don't know. It's hard. Alchemist is such a good support as well. Right. And he has that roaming capabilities yeah. he has. Absolutely. So. so it might be nice to just switch out the disruptor for um, another carry. Like even uh, even a Luna or, um, yeah, I don't know, just some real good hard carry. You know, yeah. doesn't necessarily have to be minus armor because so much is coming out from the other guys. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing that we learned there. Yeah. Uh, sure. But yeah, it was a fun match. Uh, happy to cast it. Um yeah, feel free to leave comments uh, below, uh, thumbs up or like or whatever you do on YouTube, and uh, tell people about the show. Um, so thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, leave us your comments. We welcome your feedback. And uh, yeah, it was a good time, and we will see you next time.